solos kona e trompline pili nchech bamba na ba keche su kristu ba kubega na bobu fagaze um we welcome you ma'am to the trompline pili nchech can you please introduce yourself good morning sense of trop life living church good morning it's nice to see your beautiful faces again morning hallelujah, mm. hallelujah. my name I'm so excited and happy. My name is Florence Saili. I'm 66 years old. And this is my son, Ruben Saili. We are staying in two sticks. I'm here to glorify the name of the Lord because of the anointing which is here in Tree of Life Healing Church under our pastor Tulani, through his spoken word and his prayers. I'm here today a living testimony healed from COVID-19 positive case. Let us clap our hands for Jesus. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor and tell him, oh, hey, God is good. He is our healer. Can you please continue with your testimony, ma'am? Yes, indeed. It happened on 24th of July. I'm, okay, I'm a nurse working at one of the clinics in, the, in town. So uh, it was on 24th of July. My doctor, the owner of the clinic, was very critical. So I started to resuscitate him. That's me and my junior doctor and the wife to the junior doctor. Through that process, we contacted the COVID from him. So on the 26th of July, it was a Sunday. I started, uh, I didn't go to church. I didn't come here in this church because I was not, I was not okay. I started having chest tightness. I start having loss of appetite, no energy, just like, and even some cough, that persistent is cough, it was on me. And uh, so I just thought of letting me just be in the bed. I Hallelujah. slept. She's telling us that on the 26th of July, she started seeing symptoms of COVID-19 in her body because one of her colleagues has been affected with uh, or has, been, has tested COVID-19 positive. You can continue, ma'am. So from there, I, I, I wrote a test to man of God. Pastor Tulani, for the prayer that I'm not feeling okay. I'm in self-isolation in my house, and I'm waiting for the COVID-19 results. These are the symptoms that I'm feeling. So after church, man of God saw my message, and he replied, he said, don't worry, he sent forth his word to heal us and to set us free. So don't worry. You are, you will be okay. You are okay. So from that time, when I wrote, I read that message. I started vomiting. I started coughing. That co that continuous coughing and vomiting. So my son said, "Oh, she's she's now coughing and vomiting." But man of God continued that I can see the veg of God all around you, and uh, there is no affliction that Jesus cannot heal. Rise and go. You are okay. So Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. So from that, sorry. So from that time, that was a Sunday. Monday, and Monday I was in bed. Tuesday I was now becoming worse. So I thought on Wednesday I called my in-law, Makoti, to come and help me. So when they came. So remember, can I take you back? When you received a call from the man of God, after he, said, he gave you a message through the phone, what happened to you? I started vomiting, and I started continuously coughing. So we can see saints of God on the screen of our television. That is the vomit that she, 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 she vomited while the man of God was praying for her on the phone. Oh, Continue. Oh, it was I didn't, you see? Sorry. 
Did this happen at the same time when the man of God prayed for you? Mm, yes. Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. Turn to your neighbor and tell him there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Distance is not a barrier. You just need to believe and trust in God. This woman that is standing before us, he's confessing that after the man of God has prayed for her, he started, she started vomiting, she started shaking. Everything just came out through prayer over the phone. Let us give glory to Jesus by clapping our hands louder for Jesus Christ. Continue, ma'am, and tell us what happened next. So from there, it was a Wednesday. When I called my Makoti, they came. It was late around, I can't even know the time. So they came to collect me. They took me to Nazarene. So at Nazarene, my son again started communicating with the, with the man of God, Pastor Tulani. Me now, I was restless. I was coughing. I was weak. I, all what I wanted was to sleep. And uh, so from there, man of God told him to give me the phone so that he uh, again continues to pray for me. He prayed for me. After praying for me, and uh, I can see my son was anointing me with the oil, anointing oil. I think that was instruction from man of God. So from there, we waited for the, they said, we are going to send you to the hospital. So they sent me from Nazarene Hospital and to another hospital where now I was admitted and my brother left me there with my son. I was there now alone, but I was not alone because man of God and his prayers, they followed me. There I met an angel. She's one of our daughter here. So she's, we are worshiping together. She's our daughter and she continued also looking after me and also the prayers of man of God so that is what I can remember from there uh, they continued I was in good hands they continued they took the specimen on Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday it came back and they told me that ma your results they are positive we are positive to COVID-19 but don't worry because treatment has been already started and everything has been established, you are okay. You see, I went with the prayer of man of God. So that is what I can remember. Now my son can... Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. And ma'am, how do you feel now? Do you still feel the symptom? What has happened? Can you please tell us? There is nothing. I'm okay. Just Let wait. us clap our hands for Jesus. You are okay I'm indeed. Okay indeed. Because even when I came on Monday, I was discharged on Monday. My son was, oh, so you are so strong. I carried all my bags they came with. I carried them all. They said, so you are strong, I'm strong. They thought they are going to help me walk, but uh, there I was. Walking. Let us shout hallelujah. <laughs> that is a woman who has been healed by Jesus Christ from COVID-19. From being COVID-19 positive to COVID-19 negative. Amen. So she is very happy as you can see. That is the God that we save. Hallelujah. He, he brings liberty. He brings joy. Hallelujah. Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. So can we please hear a few words from your son, ma'am? Good morning, Tree of Life, Eden Church. Uh, my name is Ruben Saidi, and this is my mother. And uh, she has said it all. We give glory to God for everything that He's doing in our life. Um, as she said, I didn't even know that she wasn't feeling that well that Sunday. When I went home, I found out that she was sick. So everything happened so fast. Like I was just looking at her. She told me I'm. I'm asserting myself right now. And so I was like, okay, what's happening? He says, I'm having a lot of symptoms right now of COVID-19. I said, oh, okay. That's how I left. I went, I was alone. And I started preparing some 
meal for myself. Then I just had her vomiting and coughing. So I went and she told me she received a text from pastor and all this was going on. So I called him. He says, okay, uh, can you take some shots and make sure that like, you are there with, you, with her? And I'm praying for her right now. So, and I believed it. So he told me everything is going to be well. Uh, some days passed. That's when now, as she said, we took her to Nazarene. When we were there, uh, I called pastor and told him, uh, man of God, this, has, this is happening right now. We are at this place. Then he told me, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. You are moving in, the, in grace. Like you are in the grace of God right now. You are like, oh, thank you, man of God. Then he tells me from there, he says, um, can you give her the phone? I pray for her. So I took the phone to her and pastor was talking to her. She started coughing, reacting to the, mystery, uh, the prayer that pastor was doing. And the doctor was telling us, can you stop? Whatever this woman she's talking to, tell, tell the person to stop talking to that person. Like right now you can see she's stressed. Uh, it's not supposed to be like this. You're just putting more pressure on her. Then I told the man, this is my pastor that she's talking to. He's a, then he told me, the doctor, that we don't care whether it's your pastor or what. Tell, uh, take the phone away from your mother. I said, sir, you cannot stop this thing. Like right now, just leave her. She finished talking to my pastor. That's how it was. Like he prayed for her and everything. Uh, then we took her to the Luke M- M- Commission. Uh, the word pastor told me, he said, the angels of, the, of God are already ahead of you. This journey is already in the hands of God. So we, when we went to look commission there, then we found one of our church workers there that she's there. Then she just said, I know you, and I, I know you are coming from Tree of Life. She welcomed us. Then we're like, oh, in that place, they do not allow people to go in. But me and my uncle, whom we went with, they allowed us to go inside to take Let bombs there. Let us shout hallelujah. You are telling us that you entered in a world whereby not anyone else is allowed to enter, but by the grace of God, you were allowed to enter there and see your mom. Yes, we entered. That's when we went into the place. Then I remember that uh, the man of God has been telling us there are spirits in every place. So when you enter a place, you must introduce your God in that place. So when I entered, I told mom, let us pray, and my uncle and, the other, and our sister here. Then we declared the God of tree of life in that place. I said, um, I, I went into Ezekiel 37. The man of God was carried into the valley of death where there are dry bones. And in that place, they asked him, can these dry bones live again? It was death everywhere. I believe when the man of God saw that, also him was just thinking, it's my time to die. So when he said, only you, God, knows. Well, according to that understanding, then God said, yes, you are right. He spoke the word there and said, command these, these dry bones to have life. Then I knew. People have entered into this world, they, this world, and they did not come back. Okay, some died. This is another chance for us. There is already a word which God has spoken through his man's servant that we are coming back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. So, my brother, how do you feel now that you see your mom is well? She is free. I'm happy, very happy. During that time, uh, I didn't know what to feel like. <laughs> Knowing this sickness, what it's doing to other people, then if and a lot of phone calls I was receiving from everywhere, my, my sisters, my brothers in Zambia, and the church workers and members like encouraging me. So I was in that state of where now, like I didn't know what to say, but I remember the pastor told me, do not pray any kind of other prayers which you may think. The only thing you must do is thank God for everything because God is already in charge. So that time I danced to God that night and said, thank you, Jesus. Because even a dance, it's a prayer in its own. Hallelujah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. You've heard it, saints of God. Dancing is worshiping God on its own. It's praying on its own. Even if you, you are in a bad situation, when you start thanking Jesus Christ, everything falls into place. Hallelujah. Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. Turn to your neighbor, we save a living God. Hallelujah. So, can you please advise the church 
advise the people who are watching right now. We know there is so many people that are suffering from this, this disease or this pandemic these days. And what can you say to those people that are suffering and the people that do not know that God heals? It is true also the devil has got power. But we serve a God who is more powerful than the devil. And the man of God in this house is not just any man of God. He's a man under authority. When you are under authority, you know what kind of man you serve. The devil has power, but we have got the authority of Jesus. So when Jesus speaks through, through his man servant, you take that word and believe. If you visit a man who has visited God, it's the same you have visited God himself. Our man of God, God has visited him. This place, God has visited we are in the place where God has visited. It's the same with us visiting God in this arena. So it is the place of healing, a place of deliverance, a place of salvation. Let's just grab hold to faith that Jesus is our healer and Jesus is Lord. Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. What a beautiful advice, saints of God. Hallelujah. Can we please have a quick advice from the mother, as we have seen that today, she is here free from COVID-19, positive to negative. She also has the results that states that she has been healed from COVID-19, positive. Today, she is negative. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. You can also watch your screen. Those are the, res those are the results. Those are the results. Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. Just a quick word of advice, ma'am. Mm -hmm. My advice is, at the beginning I said, a spoken word from man of God and the prayers. Those people in isolation, please, they need our prayers. Let's pray for them. And let's make sure that this COVID-19, it's a day. So let's also look after ourselves and our families. Thank you so much. Sense of God for your prayers and God has answered them. Thank you, man of God, and thank you, Jesus. Let us clap our hands for Jesus Christ. Let us remember when Jesus Christ does something for us, let us not forget to come and thank him through the word of testimony. Hallelujah. Because he's going to continue to do it more and more and more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sebavatile ke fagazi mbaba kukuti mage na ye uge watu falaka lage ane mkutlane we COVID-19. Kutwa ngao umsa wake Jesu Kristu asakle so simo ne timbao tibonagali iso kukuti ngitwa ngembela tao i COVID-19. Ukubegilo wa metemba Jesu Kristu kwa bang lapo kona bakumana na yoge ingewe ake ngulungulu bang umdeni bape kanena leso simo. Lapo kona ingewe ake ngulungulu itubegile ya mtanda zela ngalolu tingo Asam tandazela umfundi si tulandla mene ngel tingo. Utsige uya veta invota na kiko utsige mage watu bega washanda leo mimo ya libe kate ibanga kinza telega imbilo niyake. Leo mimo ya libe kate ingwe yayo i COVID-19. Wasa so bage negu kululega unge nilege spelela ya kupega ingega ngulungulu. Ya mtandazela kwa bengla poko nage pinza futsi tinga titakiti tatwa. Tio usholwa kwa utsige ingabe setinjano ya buyage imi pumela ifakazela wona emandla akhe ngulungulu lasabonakal siwe embilweni yakho ukuthi nemambala yena so uphile ngalo kuphelele kuso lesifo se covid 19 asimshayele tandla Jesu Kristu longehluleki losasebentile embilweni yakhe make nguye Jesu Kristu longumphilisi nalo khona lala mhla libhayibheli lithi kude lokumatima kuye ngulungulu as it began, Basil on a singer Sabi, Noben Gulungulaga CP, Moya with Saba, but also the Moya with Mand and the Will Tango. No good, the cool, the Wien Gulos Vigelo Sefu, who won the Lesper and the Lago. 